everyone, so I'm here with none other than Iron Chef uh, Mark Fojon from New York. Welcome to San Francisco. Thank you very much. So you're on the Macy's Culinary Council and it's Super Bowl weekend. So you're go I understand you're doing a demo mm -hmm. um, for game day food. So I want to sort of ask you, what do you think is sort of the key thing when you're sort of planning a, a party, football party, Super Bowl party, or any kind of party? You know, what are sort of the key thing you want to make sure you, you do to have a successful party? Well, first and foremost, especially when it's for the Super Bowl or for a football game, um, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm a big football fan. Mm -hmm. So everything that I make for people coming over is stuff that I can get done before the game starts and then you just pop it in the oven or throw it in the in the fryer. Right. Like everything's pretty much done yeah. so that you can watch the game. You can watch the game too. Yeah. I, I found out the hard way in my younger years, you know what I mean? Like to try and get a little too crazy and then you look up and it's the fourth quarter and you haven't even watched the game. Mm -hmm. So you try to keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah. So do you mind telling us what you're going to be demonstrating today? Uh, today in particular, I wanted to kind of focus on things that you could buy in a regular grocery store. You don't have mm -hmm. to be a Macy's Culinary Council chef to to get this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and it's then no just put like a... Or anything like that. Well, kind of. <laughs> I mean, but you know, I wanted to like put a twist on things that you would normally see at a, at a tailgate or, or a game day party, you know, like mm -hmm. um, chicken wings, uh, you know, doing a steak and cheese sandwich and uh, you know, pigs in a blanket, but like all like with like a little bit of a, a chef twist just to keep your guests excited. All right, great. So I also wanted to talk to you about um, your new restaurant, mm -hmm. Lobster Friend. Yep. That's, that's interesting, you're doing sort of a fast casual going into that market. What made you decide to do that? Um, you know, you can call me kind of a old fashioned or weirdo or whatever, but you know, I kind of believe in fate. And um, I was approached about doing a fast casual concept that had to be seafood. Mm -hmm. I told them I'd think about it. And then while I was thinking about it, uh, the next day, uh, the guys that I buy my lobster from asked if I wanted to start a, a fast casual concept based on a lobster sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it all happened in 24 hours, so I kind of took it as a sign and um, you know that's where we've gone. We're trying to uh, kind of change the way people think about a lobster sandwich. Mm -hmm. When you say lobster sandwich, everybody thinks about a lobster roll. Right. You know? And then you just serve that one item. We I serve the one know. item with or without cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, there's always a special sandwich that's named after our uh, Senor Torta, his name is Chance, so it's the, the Chance. And we're thinking about maybe doing a lobster roll down the road, but we're, we're, we're testing the market oh, right yeah. now. Yeah, but that sounds good. Do you think you'll ever open anything here on, on this side of the coast? It all depends on the yeah. opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can afford to rent in San Francisco though, it's crazy. New York's pretty yeah. bad too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, I don't know if they told you, but we're gonna do some speed round questions, right. just for fun. Sure, so, sure, sure. yeah. <laughs> The idea behind this is to just go super fast. First thing that comes to mind. Nick Jonas. All right. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay, so first question. Favorite ingredient to cook with? Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Least favorite food term? Uh, least favorite food term? Probably foodie. Foodie, okay. Peyton Manning or Eli Manning? Eli Manning. Eli Manning, I figured that. Favorite Iron Chef challenge? Um, we did a tropical one that was fun. Okay. What was the food ingredient for that? It was like tropical ingredients. In oh, okay. It was cool. It's a mix of things. Yeah, it was fun. Cool. All right. Fa your favorite cut of meat? Uh, hanger steak. Hanger steak. Okay. What What did you eat for breakfast? Uh, that's a funny question, actually, because it was really good. Oh. It was some type of like tomato lentil puree with with eggs and harissa. Oh, sounds nice. Was that at your, your hotel? Yeah, there's like a yeah. uh, Middle Eastern <laughs> restaurant in the hotel. Cool. All right, uh, Lady Gaga or Beyonce? Oof. Depends on the situation. For music. <laughs> <laughs> That's the situation, we're gonna stick with that. Which one is it? <laughs> That's what I meant, it depends okay, on right. the situation. Um, I'll go Beyonce. Beyonce, nice. Okay, New York Giants or San Francisco Giants? New York. Oh, okay. You're in San Francisco though. Uh, <laughs> your least favorite food trend? Least favorite food trend? Um, trying to do too much. Okay. Bobby Flay or Mario Batali? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, 
What do you mean? Who do I like better or whose food is better? Uh, well, well, who do you like better? <laughs> how, how would be more interesting? Um, they're both very talented oh, okay. and fun to hang out with. All right, I'm going to let you be diplomatic. <laughs> okay, favorite food city to visit in the U.S.? Uh, San Francisco's up there for sure. Okay. Um, how San Francisco or Napa? My parents just moved to Napa and I love, oh, I love, love Napa. going up there. Yeah, Napa's fun. Okay, favorite food city outside of the U.S. to visit? Uh, the most fun I've had eating outside of the U.S. was probably in Singapore. Okay. All right. Hashtag you probably use too much on Twitter? Uh, I don't think I've ever actually hashtagged. Oh, really? You don't? Do you, tweet? do you tweet yourself? <laughs> I do, but I don't usually hashtag. You don't hashtag things? All right. Uh, last thing you want to eat before you die? That's the favorite question. The lobster press. Lobster press. And the last question is your most embarrassing moment on TV. Most embarrassing moment on TV. Um, when I bent over to pick something up out of the oven and my pants ripped. Oh no, was that, that was on TV. <laughs> well, they didn't, they didn't air it. Oh, okay, it they edited it out. I, I fooled my entire crew. So it's almost on TV. It's on TV somewhere. <laughs> it's on TV. Somebody has that footage somewhere. Okay. All right, great. No footage here for that. But thanks so much. That was all the questions I had. Cool. I enjoyed it. This started nice and quick. So thanks, everyone. <laughs>